<laughs> oh, Catra. I missed this. Really? Because I could stand and never do it again. Oh, Catra's not used to this, of course. Oh. This place is a true blessing. <laughs> what is this tingling sensation? Um, it's the sun. That's warmth, buddy. Oh, okay. Welcome to a living planet. <laughs> Oh, yes, because Horror Prime, living with Horror Prime is just... Oh, Catra. Catra, my dear Catra. Has to be so... Cold and just lifeless and all. Like, you're connected to a hive mind. That's all you really know. Now there is, like, real natural lighting and all what he's experiencing. If someone in camp got chipped and went after the rest, it would have been chaos. The fire rises. Adora, what if... Wow, that's a great parallel to the first season because Adora just like, or Glimmer and Nabo are picking up the, like, the Horde's helmets, I believe. We don't know who's chip. You don't trust the princesses? <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> really? No, it seems very in character for her. <laughs> Catra's right. We should gather intel first so we don't fall into a trap. Irlandia is the closest village to camp. Irlandia. Someone give me a map of Shira, please. I need a, a map of Shira. <laughs> Poor Catra. Yes, too much power, but oh, look at me look so cute. Irlandia. What? We've never seen that place before. It looks all so medieval, so like from the feudal age and, and everything. I love that. And that seems terrifying. We must be brave. We must be brave. We must be strong. Scanning. Yeah, I think it all looks the same from the previous intro, the previous episode. Ooh. All oh, the planets. Damn. I want more on that, please. Like a spin offs. <laughs> Message is spreading. They say they are revolting against the Horde in the name of the rebellion. <laughs> and of Shira. Of Luke Skywalker. My heart aches for these misguided children. Now more than ever. <laughs> I love how Horror Prime is just tired of this. Like, <laughs> this is like so casual for him, actually. Without Shira, must find another way to activate it. Ooh. Time to crush this spark of rebellion for good. Soon the rebellion will be crushed. Send word to our dear no. sister, Ethereum. Detection as long as we stick with wrong Hordak. Let's go. Oh, I love it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I love this kind of mission. It's so tense. Like going like undercover. Really risky. I hope you two are full only of love for Horde Prime. <laughs> Adora's so attentive. Glory be to Horde Prime. <laughs> I love how different they are. Like the personality Ron Hordak has developed and all, that's beautiful to look at. You blend right in. You appear to have a facial tick. Is it cause for concern? I'm winking. It signals unspoken intent behind my words. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. In this case, our mutual deception of the Horde. Now you try. <laughs> Oh no, he's gonna use it like unironically. Expressing facial emotion is a privilege reserved only for Prime. He doesn't know how to wink. <laughs> the sparks. I love how it just firstly sounded so... Oh. Toad, is that you? I don't know anything. Please, just let me go. I Ooh. was just trying to get home. We're not going to hurt you. We just... <laughs> Glory be to Horde Prime. Glory be to Horde Prime. They fear more Horde Prime and all. They don't really believe in hope right now. But what we need now is the team's resident regular guy. <laughs> I love how everybody's winking now. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. You're listening like the spark of the wink. Mind if I ask you a few questions about your lovely town? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, now Ron Hardak is gonna imitate all those little details. And it just might have a huge payoff. I want that to be a payoff. A town that hates princesses? <laughs> Should I buy property here? <laughs> is what I would have said before I joined you. Go team. Of course, there's resentment with the princesses. It's still very in character for Ketra. We should split up and look around. Ketra, you take Entrapta and Milog. Keep them safe, okay? <laughs> 
Oh, I love that sound design. After everything the rebellion's done for Ethereum. I really love how Shira feels medieval and so far in the future at the same time. I love this. How can people be afraid of the princesses? You can't blame people for being scared of. Ooh. Them. Cover for us, okay? Yes, brother. <laughs> did you just. Did you just wink at me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like why? <laughs> and he said, "Brother." <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, at least they're like, like on one line. If they were as developed as Ron Hordak, they would suspect. We're just uh, browsing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this feels like this feels like old school Shira. Like the three of them hanging out together. Seems like things have been pretty bad around here lately. <laughs> things are bad everywhere. We're all just trying to get through the day without any trouble. Are everyone just towed over here? Be cool, undercover, remember? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just a completely objective third party observer. <laughs> but Erlandia should join the rebellion and fight back. No, Bo, no, 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 no. Be more subtle, please. It's not clones attacking us, it's princesses. Prime's chips controlling them. Do you think it makes a difference to us? They just want to be free. They just some princesses fighting for Etheria. Oh, okay. <laughs> Being like heroic and all is not the key right now. Is to be like someone is coming, brothers. Huh? That's not how winking works. Someone coming or not. <laughs> the weeping princess. Is to be empathetic. Is to really understand where they're coming from and all. Oh God. <laughs> Catherine Once I get Milok. these samples analyzed, we'll know if princesses were here in approximately four to six weeks. We don't have four to six weeks. Found them. Ooh. I love how Milog is just part of the team. Yes, that's happening. I always confuse them. Natasha Spinarella. I, I'm the worst. I'm sorry. I don't usually confuse names. That's the windy one, right? Spinarella. Spinarella, okay. You have to fight the chip. My fight is over. Lord Prime has given oh, you Oh, no. It's time for you to join us. That's a terrifying line. Not today. Ooh. Nice. The notion of peace from the, ideolo the ideology of her premise is so messed up. Like, it's a dictatorship, right? How are we supposed to fight our own friends? He never stopped you before. Oh, let's go, Natasha. Let's go. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Yes. Hope is back. Hello, oh, No. Okay, yeah. That... Trying to manipulate Natasha. That has to be the worst enemy right now. Trying to play with the feelings of the good guys, you know? Damn. Whoa. Well, I really need more backstory on them. Like more story between them, just. Gargo, no, Ooh. Wait. <sighs> yeah, it has to be really hard to fight your your partner like this. Brother. <laughs> yes, Lord Prime. Come on, Hordak. Come back. You don't belong here. Long ago, I heard that name before, though it fell on different years. Prepare the vessel. I must access the memory stored in this version. What? Wh special memories for this guy. What the frick is going on? Huh. The first one sought a new source of power on ancient worlds. Why? Why bend themselves to the whims of magic and myth? Of course, that's what he fears. Magic is going to defeat him. <gasps> Let's go, Hordak. Come on. Come on. Yes, you are remembering. And now you're remembering. Oh, that's beautiful storytelling. Come on. Yes, you don't belong to Hor Prime. You belong to Entrapta. Yes, that's your beloved. That's your beloved. Not this freaking guy. Entrapta gives you peace. Oh, I love the writing of the show. It is an honor to bask in the glory of your former selves, Lord Prime. 
<laughs> oh, I want you. Oh, that is going. It would be so satisfying to see him just dis destroy it. Like fight back against Hor Prime after being so in love with Hor Prime. I almost had her. Looks more like she almost had you. Catra, stand back. I'll <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh i love this the catra has defense in me like i love it <sighs> i feel like glimmer did that with catra in season two episode two is that a parallel that it's actually happened that actually happened just right now what happened to everyone else <sighs> this is hard they got spinny first she got to the others Mermista, scorpia <sighs> Oh, Ooh, I love. Oh. Yes, he's alive. He's alive, Glimmer. I love the the focus and the reactions on every single face. How much it means to them. All I know is I have to get Spinnerella back. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Avengers Endgame. He took our friends. He's not gonna stop until he's taken everything from us. She just thought about Catra and her friends, of course, but Catra mostly. Glimmer. This has to be a huge blow, but it's not done yet. There's always hope. I'm sorry. I should have been there. But we're here now, and we're not giving up. Oh, I love these moments. They're connecting. Have these moments of just like pause and lifting up. He still hasn't managed to stop us. Queen Glimmer. Oh, I love Catra being inspired by this. Back for Spinnerella and for the people of Airlandia. Let's go. And to show Prime that Etheria's not done fighting yet. We'll need everyone's help to pull this off. I, this is my queen, Glimmer. I love this. I'm in. I am honored to fight beside you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers. Oh, with, oh, let's go. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yes. This is the hope and inspiration. Spit, uh, Natasha needed. I love it. I swear I wasn't helping. She oh God! I didn't even know it was her. Prime rewards honesty from his children. Tell us where she is, and you will be absolved. Yes, a total dictatorship. The rebels have been sighted in the outskirts of the woods. Come at once. Where are the rebels? <laughs> right beside you. Huh? <laughs> yes, the wig has a payoff. I love this. <laughs> it was a signal to let them know. Yeah, you can, you can attack. <laughs> I love this. Let's go, Catra. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Damn. You go deal with Spinnerella. We'll take care of the boss. Yes. Be careful. <laughs> Always am. No, 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 no. Please don't take Catra. I don't want Catra to be taken away again. The shopkeeper. No wonder she didn't trust us. It's, it's, it's a delicate line they're working with right now. You have to confront her. She's still in there. She needs you to remind her who she is. Exactly. We need to remind Prime who we are. Yes, just like Adora did with Catra. For the honor of Grace! Let's go! Woo! Oh, it's so freaking beautiful. Cathartic. The word is cathartic cinema. Right, Cora? <laughs> Glimmer shoes. And yes, beautiful. A bow's heart. And freaking Catra's headpiece. I'm, I'm obsessed with this transformation so much. I love this. It's so freaking inspiring. I love it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm all for this Shira. More for this Adora. Welcome back, beloved. Oh, I love how the word beloved is used. Ah! Queen Glimmer? Yes! Abandon Airlandia. Let's go, yes! We're saving them. I love how the word beloved is used in this season. Adora, Entrapta, Catra, Hordak, they all are thinking about their beloved as well. <sighs> Damn! I didn't think a fight between them would be so visually awesome. Commence system shutdown. I'm trying not to hurt her. Stop holding back. She won't. 
Oh god. Damn. Wow, I feel like her powers are even amplified. Wow. Ooh. Come on. Yes. Yes. The Super Shira. Let's go. Whoa. But 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 don't hurt her that much, please. Spinny, stop. Spinny, I love how she calls her. Remind her who she is. Please, I love you. Aww. Come back to me. Please. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's your true beloved. Yes, that's your true beloved. Is that you? Darling. Darling. No. What? Oh! What? It's coming. Don't tell me, like... What? She's still in there. I saw her. We can get her back. Okay. I oh, I love that you have now hope. Renewed hope in this. <sighs> Look at this whole mess. Yes. Yes, your land. And it's now good to have you guys back. the real hope is back. She'll be okay. Spinnerella. After the chip, I mean. Oh. I uh, have some experience. Oh, yes. Oh. I love how she tries to, you know, connect and all. It's so awkward for her, but <laughs> it's that Catra has such a good heart. I love her. If the rebellion ever needs it. <laughs> always find a friendly face in Erlandia. <laughs> yeah, they're, so, they're all so loving. Yes! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> I think Horde Prime is going to know she was back. Good. Yes! Good! Oh, that reminded me of that Mulan scene, actually, at the beginning. Now all of China knows you're here. Perfect. Set coordinates for a theory. <laughs> I'm going to have to handle this embarrassment myself. Come on, Hordak. It's your turn now. Yes. Oh, I got chills. What's gonna happen now? The episode is not done yet. I'm sensing the worst. Because always the worst happens in the end of every almost every sheer episode. Have you been here? Adora, it's burning over here. Can't wait to see every Oh. Yeah. Perform as well. Oh. Bo, Bo, it's really you. Hey, be careful with Perfume and Frosty. Swift Wind. Swift Wind. Then Emily, of course. Yes. Ah, yes, it's <laughs> reuniting with Entrapta. Technology with technology. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Of course, that will be his reaction. Catra? Catra? Oh. Hey, come here. It's time for you to officially meet everyone. Yes! You sure? Yes! Frosta, Frosta, no, not, not the time right now. Are you serious? <laughs> Serious horde scum! Frosta! It's a long story, but Catra's with us. Yes! Yes. Okay. I still don't like her face. <laughs> she can live with that. <laughs> I love it, Thor. Catra, come on, please. We'll get all of our friends Let's back. Let's go. There's still a chance to save them. <sighs> this war has only just begun. Ooh! Look at them together. Oh, I cannot wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. God, I love the show. Oh, I love the music. That's so... This season is amazingly solid. Really need an episode like this, you know, filled with, with hope. That contrast of the beloved, you know, who is the beloved? Horror Prime, this new ideology that is corrupting the people or the actual beloved people they know and they've actually connected with, you know? I love how they're coming together. I love how it's building up to the finale. I want Hordak to come back against... Horror Prime, come on, it has to happen. I love this. So, that was episode 9 of Shira and the Prince of Power, season 5. An ill wind. Weirdly enough, maybe not one of my favorite episodes in season 5, but it's still really strong. I loved it. I think that speaks volumes about the quality of the season. It's so good, yet. 
I don't think it's even top five or something. It's incredible. I think the strong suit of this episode was the dialogue. There were some lines that you know, really stuck with me. Adora and the rest of them having to fight their friends in order to defeat Horror Prime. And Adora says, how are we going to fight our friends? And Katra says, it never stopped you before. When Katra says that, it's like saying, even by that time, still saw Adora as a friend. You know, still saw Adora as a close connection to her. It really makes me think about how complicated the relationship really is and how much it has changed ever since then. And now they're just fighting together. When Katra is telling to Natasa, I've been through that. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Like, it's all awkward from her, but it feels so genuine and so weirdly natural for her to say this right now because she really is trying to be a good person. She really is trying to redeem herself, to have like a like the real good heart that she has. In that progress, in that in that process, she still makes some comments that are from the old Catra, you know, like have finding from property over here in Irlandia because they hate princesses, you know. I love that because it's that old Catra that is still in the back of her mind that it's a story that really impacted her and all of them glimmer adora and that is so evident in the last scene when frosta punches <laughs> katra which i'm not gonna lie i feel so much for katra that i I guess it's a scene that was meant to be satisfying it wasn't for me like to be completely honest i was just like Stop! Can you please just stop fighting? I know that you have resentment against Katra. I totally understand that. I mean, Katra and the Horde have been nagging on them for so long, you know, before this Horde Prime mess. It was played for the laughs and all. But I feel so much for Katra that I couldn't help but feel sorry for Katra there. Like, yeah, she's receiving all this, these punches back and forth physical or not i think there's a more satisfying punch now that i think about it in the series which is adora punching back at katra in the portal episode i think that was totally deserved i think it's because we have seen so much from katra in this season like we followed her very closely her progress her growth also necessary to have these scenes because it really shows how much resentment how much conflict how much friction there actually was between the bright moon team and the horde team and katra you know Back I really appreciate that. Once again, I really love the comedy. I love Ron Hordak. Ron Hordak has to be with Milog, one of my favorite additions in this show. I love him. He adds this lightheartedness that is very much necessary. Really adds that, you know, sense of like spark, <laughs> you could say. There's a lot of like heavy conflict and emotions this season, but it's very well balanced with this charming goofy comedy from Ron Hordak. He's not supposed to be winking at certain points, you know, I love Adora's line like Did you just... Did you just wink at me? At the end, the payoff, you know, with the plan, taking on the Horde Prime soldiers and all, I love it. The fight between Natas and Spinnerella, that was amazing. Visually great, I love the emotional conflict between them, I love how Shira is also like, driven to, to help, but it's so different this time it's so hard this time because we're dealing with a friend we're dealing with a beloved one and i love the use of the word beloved here because it can also translate to darling and i love how that is used for horror prime like what horror prime represents is that really beyond manipulation of what peace and love means and i love how that is also contrasted with ron hordak's progress in this season we saw that in the last episode like how he's trying to detach himself from horror prime and his beliefs and his ideology and now over here we see some of the real effects and results of that like him interacting with horror prime soldiers is like so different i love it now his beloved is new friends he has made we also see this with Hordak, visual storytelling. We didn't need to hear the word beloved, but we know, we very clearly know that Hordak's beloved is in Trapta. It is not her prime, and I love this. I just love to see now more places in Etheria. I love how much, even in this last season, which, you know, is supposed to wrap everything up, they're still expanding, but it's still, it doesn't feel like overpopulated. It doesn't, it doesn't feel overstuffed. It feels just right. It's, it's expanding the world. It's expanding the characters. It's making them more interesting, more three-dimensional. I love them. You know, with the change of the symbols, you know, from Horde to Shira's sword. It's so interesting because after he, watching the hero 
episode is like this has this very negative connotation because the first one's intention with the sword was really to basically destroy Etheria, you know? But this time it feels so much more different with Adora now changing that. It feels now this is Shira's true self. I love it. I really love it. It's crazy that the Frison hasn't seen, I think, any appearance in this season after being so much to focus in the first four seasons. That's insane. Cannot wait to see what they're gonna do with this. Set coordinates for Etheria. The Fried Zone. Are they gonna like make the Fried Zone their territory, like Sheer and Company? That might be very interesting to fight back Hor Prime, you know? Mermista, Spinnerella, and Scorpia are wreaking havoc across Etheria. If we want to stop Hor Prime, we have to neutralize them and figure out how to free them from their chips. Oof. Yeah, I mean, they're princesses and. <laughs> Those powers, I feel like they would be enhanced. Spinny's weakness is obvious. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Real obvious. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> what is it exactly? <laughs> Historian. So obvious. Everyone knows she twisted her ankle when she was a kid. <laughs> her injury will act up on her. Next time we fight, we will target it and subdue her and unship her. <laughs> <laughs> like a baby and a married couple back again. And remind her of it every time she tells me it's my turn to clean. <laughs> it just shows how much she's crazy about her, about Spinnerella. In Trapta's weakness, attack <laughs> fire. Don't do that. Sorry. Adora can act to save her life. Oh. Foreshadowing? Don't tell me Adora's going to sacrifice herself for the end of the season. Don't. Crippling self-doubt mixed with overwhelming hubris. <laughs> oh, <laughs> overwhelming that's hubris. Like really personal compared to fire. Well, that says a lot about how well her character is written, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> You've spent a lot of time thinking about this, huh? Contingency plans are how you win. And I? What about Catra? Oh, I forgot about... How did I forget about her? You and your files don't have anything on real threats, like me. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> what a cat. <laughs> well, Horror Prime's weakness is magic, so they have to point that out as well. I'll never let it go. We must be strong. Nothing changes in the intro. We've lost track of Spinnerella after Airlandia, but... There is good news. We know where Scorpia is. The Fright Zone. <clears throat> oh, they're gonna go to the Fright Zone to fight Scorpia. <gasps> Scorpia returned to the Fright Zone. Oh God. What's Catra's reaction to this? There's probably a part of her that remembers it's her home. That pile of junk isn't anyone's home. Scorpia saved me. She stayed behind so the rest of us could escape the Enchanted Grotto. The purest heart, Scorpia. Her heart's too strong. She'd never hurt her friends. Aww. <laughs> She's not great at standing up to authority figures. Trust me. Your negative vibes aren't appreciated here, Catra. Uh, <laughs> they are so different from each other, Perfume and Catra. Catra's saying the truth, actually, here. You're a bad friend. 
all that matters is the chip. The only reason that Adora, you know, saved me or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> save me or whatever, and Adora, like, yeah, I did. <laughs> know how to save Scorpia better than I do? I know all about how you treated her back in the horde. That is true, uh... Scorpia knows the kindness of a true friend. <sighs> oh, yes. Okay, that is satisfying. That is a wake-up call to Catra. Of course, she feels that guilt with Scorpia after that Princess Scorpia episode. She is afraid to confront the truth. Bo? Bo, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. No. It's your dad's. <gasps> oh. No, they're chipped. They have the chips. I haven't heard from them since we got back. No. I'll teleport us there. But what about the mission? Bo, Adora, and the others can handle Scorpia. Wow. This mission is just as important. We have to make sure your dads are safe. Best friends, come on. Yes. Oh no. Come on. I'm so glad they brought back the dads of Bo. Ooh. This is freaking the nightmare. Yeah, terrifying. Oh, I love that. Oh, I mean, Milag is such a good addition. It's weird, isn't it? Being back. This was our home. So many memories here. Most of them bad. Some of them good with Adora, right, Katra? <laughs> Please, could you just stay? Kiss when the time comes. You promise? Aww. You need to kiss. Come on. You need to be together. Oh, well, wow. It's different than I remember it. Yeah. Murdoch and I may have had a small disagreement <laughs> before we were taken by Horde Prime. Their battle was epic. That is probably my favorite battle in the entirety of the show. Scorpia! Get back here! No one does no one understand what stealth means. <laughs> Scorpia! <laughs> yeah, Perfuma is, I, I think is oh, Scorpia. Oh, this is Scorpia. This is Scorpia. Th those rays are from Scorpia. Uh, your plans are just the worst. <laughs> She's here. Ah! Ah! No! Scorpia? Ooh! Just like that! And it's so early in the episode. I told you she'd never hurt her friends! She's so positive! Scorpia. No, Perfuma, Perfuma! No, 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 no! Ooh! Perfuma! Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Are we gonna see, like, a... Catcher versus Scorpia? This is terrifying. Whoa. Yes. Yes. <gasps> the way Mila reacts. Uh, oh no. Okay. Uh, about everything that happened. Uh, I'm really bad. Ah no. <laughs> what the brick? That's okay. centered outside of Ethereum. <laughs> Whoa. Let's freaking go, Adora. Let's go. You're my hero. Pretty sure she can tell it's us. It's Catra. Can we really blame her? Gosh. Can we really blame her? I mean, I love how human all these characters are. Bots. Don't call attention too much. Right by my home. They're chipped. They're chipped. Oh God! Look at the place. George! I'll check the other room. Oh, Yeah, that was... That was... That was shown before. The dragon that Adora was so... <laughs> Wait, you got a dragon? Bow! Oh! <laughs> what did the first one say when they burned dinner? It was ruined. Uh... <laughs> Well, this is the dad meme, yeah. I know where they are. Synchronizing. No, Catra. Could have gone better. 
Oh, she was still like rolling around. <laughs> that was a strong ray from Scorpia. Mermista! <gasps> Mermista's here as well! Oh god! Whoa, this is freaking terrifying! Yeah, the hardest battles are with your friends. Oh my god. We need to Shira! Drop it! We don't throw tanks at our friends! <laughs> yeah, well, this isn't working. Help! Okay, I love that little comment by Fufuma really telling about what is the solution to this conflict. Not physicality, not force. You matter to me. Communication. Enough with the feelings if you just I am strong, but I'm not gonna hurt my friend. <laughs> I wish she'd stop doing that. <laughs> Scorpio, please. I mean, they tossed it with Spinarella, and Spinarella just snapped out of it for a bit. Oh, is this gonna work? Literally, the positive energy that's gonna bring her memories. Scorpia. No, it's gonna be not enough. Oh, God. Damn. Oof. Look at them go, holy frick. She recognized she recognized Adora for a bit. Come on. Come on. How how to Processing. How to make it her snap completely? Still trying to save everyone? What a wasted effort. Ah, they're all here. They're all here. This one's mine. Yeah, it all gets really personal. Oh, so she gets to throw tanks at us! <laughs> <laughs> this is so amazingly written. It's ruined. I get it. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> <gasps> Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible joke by the dads, but it's so endearing. <laughs> I'm still teaching how to use this thing. I don't know how to use it either. <laughs> oh, trying to be like their son. Our message. <laughs> I knew you'd. Understand. Oh, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> no, that, no, no. Work on ancient history like nothing's happening. You were the one who inspired us to fight for what we believe in. We're not hiding down here. We found something. I love Bo, like, calling out their dads because, yeah, it's totally understandable that he would be super worried, actually. A joke in these situations. Oh. That is so cool. That is so like Catra. The fighting style, like a cat coming out of nowhere. Kneel before Horde Prime's might. Not a chance. Woo. <laughs> it's completely taken. Huh? Damn, look at the fight. Woo. Nets, 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 nets. Okay, great. Can't get rid of me that easily. Let's go. Oof. Oh, I love how everybody's having their battle over here, scattered. Scorpio was so full of light and kindness. He erased our friendship. Oh. Adora really feels this because her prime could have destroyed the friendship between her and Katra. Oh, I love that detail. She totally. Ah, oh, I love this. God! No! Scorpia, please! We're trying to help you! Does she remember that she can literally heal Scorpia or something? Adora, what happened to Shira? I don't know. I just. Oh, no. Her. What? You just lost her. You're blocked. I think you're blocked mentally. What? No way he's here! Holy Anytime Shira wants to come back, that would be great. <laughs> oh Horprem is using that vessel, right? From that was hinted in the last episode. Gosh. I mean, Katra was sitting there in the freaking beginning of season four. This is crazy. Princess drama. 
I have no need for you. Not anymore. What? My little brother's research has given me everything I need to know. So he has been useful to you, you hypocrite. It will be child's play to bypass its defenses and take the weapon at its heart for myself. With or without you. Whoa. Stabilizing. I thought for a moment they were going to end the episode there, you motherfuckers. We unearthed an ancient secret, long forgotten. Eternia. Greetings, administration. <laughs> Gimme. I love this. We found something hidden in her programming. For, for real? The honor of no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> for the honor of Grayskull. <laughs> for the honor of Grayskull. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh, this was never shown before. How? What? How? What? Friend of Mara. There. Greetings, friends of Mara. Ooh. She was working with a group of rebels, going against their first one's leaders. Oh. How come we never seen that before? One recording available. Would you like to review? What? If anyone's hearing this, you need to listen. There's a failsafe for the heart of Ethereum. A failsafe. In this for good. It's at the Arxia outpost, but we lost touch with them a week ago. If there's anyone left out there, you need to find it. This is brand new information. Mara's storyline completely blows my mind. This is Rebel Squadron Great Skull. Rebel Squadron. We're signing off. Wow. This was like literally the Rogue One mission, you know? This could stop Prime from using the heart. This could save the universe. They said it's at Arxia? Where the hell is that? What? We don't know. <laughs> the first ones had different names for everything on Etheria. Arxia. There has to be a play with words with that word. I don't know, with letters or something. Wow. A rebel. Wow. Get us out of here now. What's going on? Oh my god. Uh, this whole thing was a trap. No, and Catra, no, I mean, ah, that is so real because yeah. No! Well, why did I get the water, princess? Cats don't like water. You're lying. You will never get your hands on the heart of Etheria. It is over, Adora. As always, your childish fixation on saving your friends has distracted you. Ooh, that really got into her because the complex of hero that Adora has. I love that they're, they're calling out on every character. Friendship isn't a weakness. Ooh. It's my greatest strength. Oh. And it's Scorpia's too. Yes, come on. Scorpia. Make her come back to herself. You can break through this. I know you can. It's about communication at the end, not force. Oh. Whoa! Scorpius back, Scorpius back, right? Scorpius back. Scorpius back, come on, come on, yeah, Scorpius back, right? Scorpius back. They escaped, they escaped. Submit yourself to inspection. Oh no, she didn't completely. She snapped for a sec. They are insignificant. The heart will soon be in my grasp. Oh no. I really thought for a sec Scorpia was just all back again. This is so hard. And I love that actually. I love the detail of the flower there. That reminded of, of Scorpia, the, the goodwill, you know? The good heart that she has. Ooh. Come on. Don't you get it, Spinny? I'm never letting you go. Spinny, you're my weakness. Oh. oh, that's so oh, that's so well done. I I really needed more than a toss spinnerella before. Their story is beautiful. Their dynamic is beautiful. Oh, you're my weakness. After pointing out all the weaknesses in, in the beginning of the episode. Got her. Oh yes! Yes, yes. It's about communication, about that heart, that love. Love is gonna save the universe, right? I heard Scorpia dropped a beam on you. <laughs> Scorpia missed. She missed on purpose. 
because I believe in Scorpia. Wow. I hope you're right. I love that spiritual energy Perfuma projects. I love it. Scorpia is really lucky to have a friend like you. Oh. Catra. It's hard keeping your heart open. It makes you vulnerable, but it doesn't make you weak. And I have to believe it's worth it. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, come on, Catra, come on, tell it, Dora. Work through some guided meditation to begin to unblock your abandonment issues and your negativity. Uh, 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 one thing at a time. <laughs> Catra, you have to tell it, Dora. That is, wow, they're so different, but they complement each other's friends perfectly. Uh, Catra and Perfuma. We can stop the heart of Etheria for good. Supposed to be in some place called Arxia. Yeah. We've got nothing. We know where it is. Z what? Uh. Ah! Captain Shadow, we were encounter. We have to go to Mysticor. To Mysticor? <laughs> what the frick? Oh my god, yes, the last encounter Katra needs. Being with Shadow Weaver. Oh my god. Bitch, you better be joking. That's going to trigger her traumas back and just make her feel guilty again, right? Because Shadow Weaver is the biggest trauma figure for for Katra. The root of it all. For all the anger and trauma. Oh my god. Oh my god. And here we go. This was great. This was great. I love the approach over here with how communication really is the strongest weapon. Standout episode for Perfuma, actually. I think Perfuma's best episode so far, actually. Perfuma actually, like, saved the day over here for Adora and, and, and really connected with Katra right at the end. This was so well written. Ah. Let's talk about this episode. This was this was brilliant. The focus on the personal battles, you know, highlighting each other's weakness. Really, really appreciate these details. First of all, you know, with Katra, as she's a cat, basically. Also, a deeper, more personal fear is to confront her friends like Scorpia. Unlike with Entrapta, there is no fulfilled like forgiveness or redemption with Scorpia yet. With Entrapta, she just did that in the Taking Control episode. Scorpia is one of the missing pieces for Catra in order to forgive herself because now she has to confront, I think, an even bigger weakness for Catra, which is Shadow Weaver. And I think that's going to be really fascinating. I, I really want to see the end of that dynamic, how, how that is going to be unraveling. I love to see over here how also Catra's weakness is Adora. Adora. And once again, it's shown that for Adora as well, her weakness is Catra. And I love how Perfuma is making Catra make sense of the situation, like emotionally, and how to project that positive energy and how that can make the difference. It may sound like very dumb and very childish. The statements that Perfuma does as a character is so important to the overall theme of the story about elements like friendship and love well managed and with care how can that make the difference in order to win that's how natasa recovers spinnerella out of like her pure love and communication and honesty and vulnerability with spinnerella it's what's bringing spinnerella back i love that that's what perfuma was trying to do with scorpia and scorpia Yes, missed on purpose. That was the great symbolism with the flower over there that's saving for just a bit Adora and Perfuma. I really love over here as well, the weakness for Bo and Glimmer. For Glimmer, you could say that the weakness is Bo. And whenever Glimmer sees Bo like very down and very like discouraged, she is also discouraged. I remember that back in the reunions episode where Bo was very, you know, like confused about telling the truth or not about himself, what he was doing truly. And Glimmer was as well very unsettled beautiful callback to that reunion episode for glimmer and bow because it's also making that statement that they are as well the biggest strength for each other i love this love love this this whole episode for adora was also really interesting the fact that processing she couldn't be shira i wonder if there's gonna be more development of that i think she was blocked like mentally or it could be like Horprime was controlling it also contrasts beautifully with 
Perfuma. This is also great writing because Adora continues with that struggle with herself that Shira is the biggest weapon that she has. But I think Adora has to understand that the biggest strength that she has is herself. Most true and genuine Adora. And I think that true genuine Adora, it has to come out sooner or later with Katra. It's so clear that they love each other, that they have a very deep connection with each other. They are hinting. They just might end up together. And I think being completely honest, loving with Katra just might unleash the biggest and most powerful Shira ever. Maybe. That's just my theory. Love the action. I love that Spinnerella versus Natasa. I love the dynamic. I wish I could have seen more of them in previous seasons. Great reveal also with the dads, with the Arxia um, thing, and the fact that Mara had friends and all with that squadron. That feels so much like Star Wars in a way as well, like Rogue One, kind of. I'm very pleased. I really love this episode. The quality of this season is insane, I insist. Love it. Love the body language with Katrin and Dora, with the things that they say and with the things that they don't say, especially. What they don't say has so much power. It's so... I, 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 they must end up together. They're, they are hinting it so evidently, so hardcore now. They have to end up together. So as much as I enjoyed an ill win and return to the fry zone, I honestly believe that these two episodes just might be the weakest ones of the season. I'm not saying they're bad at all. Like, no. <laughs> and Illwyn is actually a great episode. It has a lot of great jokes and a lot of tension with Spinnerella and Natasa. I think that was like the heart of the episode. Rebellion just coming together once again. It really touches me. But I actually feel like this episode might have been even stronger if it was in a setting that we already knew. Something like Drill or Eberron. Even just go to Bright Moon. I do not know this place. I do not know these characters. I feel like I would have cared more if it was in places we have visited before, you know? But it's still, great episode. This might sound a little bit surprising, maybe? But yeah, I... I yeah. <laughs> I like Stranded a bit more. It's not the best by any means of the season, but I feel like the emotional core of this episode is stronger than the one Return to the Fry Zone. Just a little bit stronger. I think the Glimmer and Bow stuff, really the whole turmoil of Adora, thinking about Katra and Shira being reborn again, like little by little. I really, really appreciate that. And Return to the Fright Zone, I feel like this episode would have benefited from being a two-parter. I love this episode. It was action-packed, very emotional with Perfume at the end with Scorpia. I love the humor once again. I just think this could have been a two-parter especially being in the fright zone. I will go more in depth like later. Even with that said, th this season is uh, freaking phenomenal. The rest of the episodes are like up here. Like <laughs> this season is crazy bananas good. It's really that insanely good. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this reaction. Let me know what are your thoughts about this episode, your favorite moment of this episode, parallels, the themes, the characters, everything. And if you can and want, join now to become a YouTube member or support in Patreon. And there's one patron that goes by Darkrai. They have this Catra profile picture. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional, but I highly approve. 10 out of 10 choice. See each other in the next one. See ya. No, Catra, what are you doing? No, don't. Haven't you hurt each other enough? Oh no, I don't know.